Hi everyone. Um, so if you have our um, our loops and our face shield, you're probably wondering, um, you know, what's what's this little pattern uh, right here for? Um, this little pattern right here is to connect your light. Now you may have a light uh, from us from Snap-on Optics, like like this one, or you may have a light like um, like this one. This will be the the, the, the corded light. Um, the same face shield is gonna work for both of these models. And the way we're gonna make that fit is we're gonna take, we're gonna take the, the, the light and we're gonna put it um, into one of these, into one of these um, um, uh, patterns. And uh, we're gonna make the light fit so that there's no gaps. So this light should fit um, in this face shield like perfectly uh, without any gaps. So uh, that way you stay as protected as uh, possible. Um, so in my last video, I went through like how to, how to turn uh, this into a functional mask, how to turn the, like this, this flat um, material into a functional mask. So um, I'm not gonna go through that um, in great detail like before, um, but I am gonna do it um, real quick for us. So there's a protective film um, that we're gonna remove like that. You, Throw, throw this away and then wherever you see wherever you see like like a like a slot like a slit like this um, you're gonna dig your your nail through it and it should it should just open right up for you and there's a hook right here you're gonna put the hook uh, into the slot so this hook goes into the slot uh, like this like that. and you see like the, the face shield is starting to um, take shape and starting to form that nice curvature uh, so it keeps you protected. So we're going to do the same for this slot. And you got one down here. Now this one down here, we want this one to stay pretty tight. So this one may be a little bit tricky. This one, um, it's going to take a little effort to get it to, get it to go through. Okay. And once it's in there, you know it's it's really in there. That this never this never comes out. Um, so once you get these hooks in, uh, they should pretty much stay in. Like that. And you get one on top. Now the one on top, um, the one on top, I'm going to do later. I'm not going to do right now because this is the top one is going to lock the light in place. So now you've now you've got your face shield. Um, it's curved. It's three-dimensional, and it's gonna go on your loops like this, and this should keep you very protected. Um, it's gonna protect you on the, the, the top, um, the front, and, you know, of course, you know, the, the bottom, which is where all your aerosol is gonna come from because, you know, the patient's gonna be, like, below you. So um, a lot of your aerosol is gonna come from the bottom, so this will protect you on the bottom as well. Now with this, we're gonna address this pattern right here. So how do we make this light fit into there? Well, it's easy because you, you can kind of see how it's all gonna go come together. Um, I'm gonna pop out this center circle. I'm gonna do that by, I'm gonna put my fingernail right underneath the um, pre-cut line where I want it to break. And I just push my finger, you heard, you heard it snap? I, I just push my finger up like this. I put my fingernail right on the, the crease and I push my fingernail up and through. And I'm gonna do that the same thing on the other side. You're gonna hear it snap again, like that. So I'm gonna push my finger from, from the bottom up and I'm gonna push it through. You hear, that, you hear that snap? So now this circle should be very easy to remove. So, I, so I've kind of like, turned it into almost like a like a butterfly shape and then I'm just gonna simply pick it off like this like that and you see how I got it all in one piece I essentially got it in one piece and I'll show you uh, here we go so I essentially got this out and this come on stay okay okay all right so I got this out in one piece like that. So I'm gonna discard um, this piece. We don't need it anymore. So we'll just discard that. And now this hole that we just made, 
just made this nice little hole and this hole is intended to fit the light so first we're going to install the light on your loops and if, if you already have our light um, you already have the um, the light installed on the loops so your loops would essentially look like this and so just leave the light on the loops take your face shield place the face shield on the loops like that and this hole is going to fit perfectly with your light so it's going to fit tightly um, along there there should be no gap well there might be a small gap but um, your the lens the lens behind um, the shield will provide you an additional layer of protection and then on on top here um, you're gonna latch this top part and if you do that you see how tightly everything seals and so this face shield lets the light poke through just enough just enough so that you don't get that glare the reason why we put the light through the shield is because um, if you put the light behind the shield like this if you put the light behind the shield like this you're gonna get this killer glare and you're not going to want to use the shield every time you do a procedure and that completely defeats the purpose because no patient ever comes to you with a big sticker on their forehead that says you know I have coronavirus um, so if you're going to use the shield use it for every patient if you don't if you're going to use it every other patient you know just don't don't use it like it's it, it's not going to it's not going to serve its purpose so if you use the shield uh, make sure you use it for every patient and that's what this shield is designed for is so that you're comfortable um, using this light with the shield uh, every single time so in the morning um, you may have your shield on your loops or off your loops um, if your shields on your loops great if it's off all you have to do open things up like this take the shield put it through like that Adjustment here. Looks like one of my O-rings slipped. There we go. Okay. All right. It's back in position. Okay. So I'm going to move this O-ring back. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to do a complete installation so that you can see how it all comes together. Take the take the pin just like before. This pin right here and put it into the O-ring, like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now your light stays on your loops like that. Do the same on the other side, like that. There. And then on top here, now we lock up the top. See how you, there's still a gap. You still have a gap on top. So there's a there's a lock up here. So we're gonna take this and you're gonna push your your, your fingernail through there and, and open up that open up that uh, uh, pre-cut area and then just do that and the same thing here and then so you just put the two together like that. There you go. And then you can I'm gonna take a look and see see how there's see how there's still a gap between my light and my shield um if you come closer you can kind of see it all right see that gap there's a little gap right there um that gap shouldn't hurt anything but you know if we were really picky we want to we want to really seal things up um move the face shield forward a little bit there move the pull the face shield forward a little bit i'm pulling it this way i'm pulling it this way so i'm pulling the face shield forward as I pull the face shield forward, you can see how that gap closes. So now you, everything behind the, behind this face shield is protected, except for the little tip of the light, which you can always you can always cap aside this um, later. Um, but the purpose is to make sure everything you know stays uh, tight and um, you know that you're that you're as protected as possible. So. Um, this is a complete assembly of your cord, corded light. Um, but let's, let's say, let's say you have both a corded and a cordless light. 
you can see how this cordless light is shaped completely different than, than your corded light. So how do we install this one using the same face shield? I'm not gonna change the face shield. I'm just gonna change the light. Because let's say you have, a, you have a day where you're doing a lot of exams, a cordless light, a great light for exams because you don't got this cord, you know, um, dragging around, getting caught on stuff. So you want to be completely cordless. Let's say um, today is the day that, you know, you have like um, a lot of exams. Uh, no crown preps, but just exams. Um, planting the seeds for, you know, a productive day later. So we're going to use a cordless light. So let's do that. So very easily. Just open the lock up on top, like that. And that allows you to remove the light. Now, I'm not, I can easily pull the cord out um, and remove it that way, but I'm not going to. There's a slot on top here, which allows me to just remove the light like that. So this makes it easy so that you don't have to like pull the cord uh, through. So we're done with this cord, corded light, and we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna work with a cordless light. So on a cordless light, you're gonna remove this top pattern right here. This top pattern, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna do that by putting our fingernail where we want the material to separate, like that, and then I just easily separate it. See how easy that was? So this piece. You can, this piece right here, uh, we can just throw away. Do the same thing on the other side. Put my fingernail underneath where I want it to separate. I want to separate here, so I'm putting my fingernail here. And I just lift, and you see how easily that separated. Um, now, it's not going to separate on its own. You can pull on it, and it won't separate. You have to put your fingernail um, where you want it to separate. And that creates like a pressure point, and it'll, it'll pop off for you. Now this, we're going to put our cordless light. Uh, in to these two holes. Big battery um, goes in the big hole, small light goes in the, uh, the hole on the bottom, like that. Okay, so you can see how the face shield is actually holding the light in place. So let's say, let's say, I, let's say I'm starting from the beginning. Let's say I'm starting from the beginning. I got my face shield, I got my light, and I've got my loops. Now, these three, three things have to come together. So we're gonna put our light into our face shield, like this. Okay, light goes in the face shield. Then I'm gonna lock it in place by closing the lock on top. So that's closed. So now the cool thing is, see how this face shield is so strong that it's holding this cordless light in place. The face shield is holding the cordless light in place. If I move around, it's not coming out. So this, this light is actually supporting this face shield. So you can imagine how tightly um, the face shield is fitting around this light. So this face shield is designed to be used with our Snap-on Optics light. You can use it with other lights too, um, but it works best if you use it with our light. Um, so you take take your your face shield and your light already assemble. Bring it together with your loops, and you already know how to do this, like that. I know you've done it before, so you've already you already know how to do this. So just like before, you know the pins go in to the slot, and it's always a good idea to use two. Um, or three um, uh, retention rings, like that. And do the same on the other side. Looks like one of my rings slipped again. So I'm gonna scoot the ring back. Okay, okay. so I'll put the pin into the retention ring again. And then there's there's a trick for doing the second the second ring, which is this one. So you scoot the ring back like that, hold the pin down, and then slide the ring over the pin, and that's a much easier way of getting things to stay. So this is your completed um, loop and light assembly. 
everything is together. Um, you can see how the shield fits around the light perfectly. Like that. Same thing on the other side. And the cool thing about this is if you have our second generation light, it leaves a little bit open that allows your touch sensor to still um, be able to operate. If you can't operate your touch sensor, you can turn your light on and off um, by, by, by twisting the big knob in front like this. So I hope that helps. Um, stay safe and be productive. And um, you know, I will see you at the next um, dental convention. Thank you very much. Have a great day.